At the time, the mother bear was asking humans to save its cubs. Animals have the power to help people, or make them feel at ease. When intruders are spotted, they sound the alarm or lead people away from the scene of a disaster. Even teddy bears soothe people at night. Teddy bears are not technically animals, but they do play an important role in our lives. In any case, we should help animals in trouble, especially bears. Some people, influenced by the rescue center, try to save bears in the wild. When the bear mother asked the human to help it save the drowning bear cub, human instead of refusing to take measures immediately, a couple in Wisconsin helped a swimming bear remove a bucket from its head. Let's start with this story to understand their friendship. Mike and Amy were returning from Miller Lake one day when they heard what seemed to be a fast movement at the back of the boat. At first they thought it was a dog or a rock, but as they got closer they realized it was a bear stuck in a plastic bucket that was almost full of water. Clearly, the bear needed the couple's help. They made several attempts to get close to the bear. At that time, when approaching, they had to consider the bear and their safety. When they got close enough, Amy quickly grabbed the top of the plastic bottle and successfully removed it from the bear's head. Then the bear swam away as if nothing had happened, unaware that it had nearly died. The couple cheered the bear and watched it leave. They saved the bear. Happy to have saved a bear, the couple ended their difficult fishing trip. If you enjoyed this story, then stay with me for the next one. The bear was saved from drowning. Fortunately, it survived. In early April, the snow was melting in the rivers, and lakes of West Virginia were cold. At that time, a bear handler at a wildlife rehabilitation center was looking for a bear cub. They never found it or even saw it again. This story is about the aerialist man named Berkeley who was fishing with his family. As Berkeley set out into the wilderness in his waterproof boots, he encountered rangers and rangers. He told them there was a missing bear cub in the area and wanted them to be on the lookout. He thought maybe they could look for the cub together. It wasn't long before Berkeley found the cub at the water's edge, but he was alarmed by the situation, so he immediately went to the rangers and explained about the bear cub and wanted to take them there. They soon reached their destination, but the bear cub fell into the river and they almost failed to save it. In that case, Berkeley jumped into the river, quickly grabbed the bear cub by the neck and lifted it up. The bear cub looked very bad after being rescued. Berkeley saved it just in time. As time went on, although the bear cub was very weak, it slowly revived. Before recovery, it had been in the rescue center. If Berkeley hadn't been brave, the cub would have lost its life. After rescuing the bear cub, Berkeley happily went fishing. Can you imagine what would happen if all the teddy bears got bigger? The bear in this next story is 300 pounds heavier than the bear in the last one, but it's just as heartwarming. A man rescued a 400 pound bear from drowning. The 400 pound black bear left Osceola National Forest because it was too cold and wanted a good breakfast. It's hard to find a bear between the forest and the sea. The bear thought it would be scavenging for trash in a residential area of Alligator Point, Florida. Unexpectedly, it was sedated by animal control the tranquilizer didn't take effect immediately, so the bear ran away instead of fainting. The bear was walking days towards the sea when the tranquilizer began to take effect. Luckily, a Wildlife Commission biologist was nearby. At that point, as the bear moved closer to the deep sea, it became blurry. While shore workers were preparing for the rescue, biologists struggled to drag the bear to other shores so a tractor could pick it up. He took the bear about 25 meters from the beach and put it in the back of a pickup truck to make sure it got home safely. Although he had a few bruises from the bear, he was very excited. That day, he decided not to take the risk of going to the gym and to keep rescuing people. This rescue is about everyone. 
If you like this kind of story, you can follow our channel here. This mother bear asked humans to save its babies. At that time, when the mother bear led its cubs across the ice, it often underestimated the dangers around it. It put it and bear cub into a very dangerous situation. At the time, people did not understand why the mother bear did this, but it did make a very wrong decision. Fortunately, neither the mother nor its cubs were killed. In the northwest region of Russia is a lake called Mixero, which is famous for its excellent fishing industry. Mother bears often walk by with their cubs. There are more than 500 islands in the lake, and many wild animals live around them. The water can be as low as minus 4 degrees and there are strong currents underneath the ice. Humans can survive for 10 minutes in water at minus 5 degrees Celsius before losing their coordination as their body temperature drops. Compared to humans, bears have more fat to support their living activities, so they can live longer in these temperatures than humans. But bears actually have a hard time living in cold water, so they shouldn't rush out. At that point, the mother bear carried the cubs on its back and tried to carry them across the lake. However, halfway through the journey, the mother bear changed its mind. It felt that it could not swim to the other side with the cubs, so it left them alone in the river and swam quickly towards the shore. The two cubs were left in the freezing water and in danger. The fishermen saw the scene and tried to save the cubs. They knew that under those conditions, the cubs wouldn't last long. Bears are top of the food chain carnivores, and their sharp claws and teeth can damage anything, so they need to take precautions before humans help them. The first cub swam up to the side of the boat, and then grabbed the side of the boat, trying to support itself. The fisherman used a net to retrieve the cub, and then rescued the second cub using a net hanging over the side of the boat. The cubs were frightened but also relieved to have been rescued. When that happened, the mother bear went back to the bush alone, which reassured the fisherman. Instead of risking sending the cubs back to the mother bear, they took them straight back to the island. To the fisherman's delight, the pups were so fond of them that they didn't want to leave them. But when the mother bear appeared, they all got out of the boat quickly. As they left, the mother bear looked at the fisherman for a long time, as if to express its gratitude to them, perhaps because it was hungry. 